Tonight we introduce you to a true West Tennessee artist. His work is featured in the Smithsonian and has been honored by the governor. Jack Martin is the man behind Hockaday Handmade Brooms, a company started by his great grandfather that has since swept the nation. Two hundred broom corn plants make up one Hockaday handmade broom. The truth is it takes me five months and 45 minutes. Five months to grow the crop, 45 minutes to put it on the handle. It's an art that Jack Martin has helped turn into a nearly 100 year tradition. We're just going to slide the broom into the mouth of the machine. In 1916, now I will use about 15 feet of wire. Martin's ancestors were looking to make money in the winter when their fields were frozen. My grandfather always said if a Hockaday broom ever gets loose and comes off the handle, we replace the broom. A useful tool Martin learned to make by watching, even though it sometimes landed him in trouble. As a kid growing up on the farm, I would sneak into his broom shed and I'd steal the thread and tie it up on the hog fence and, and I got a couple switches for that. Kind of looks like your hair when you first get up in the mornings. As this folk artist grew up, he couldn't stand to see his grandfather's wrapping table and broom press sold to a stranger. So with $100, he bought a piece of history, never intending to continue the business. Step number one is to wrap it. Now we're ready to stitch it. But it was his wife, Virginia, who saw the art in this old craft. She's the artistic person in our family. Uh, we use the word folk art a lot. I'm the folk, she's the art. Since the two have created their own family, they've continued the Hockaday name, selling brooms all around the world and even having them showcased in museums like the Smithsonian. These are my sewing thimbles. This is going to protect my hand as I stitch the broom back and forth using the old-fashioned needle. Just working our way back and forth. Perhaps it's Martin's demonstrations that have proved most rewarding. Oh, in the last 25 years, we've demonstrated, believe it or not, to over a million kids in West Tennessee, almost every elementary and middle school in every county in West Tennessee. But the family's most recent accolade came this year, recognized by Governor Bill Haslam with the Governor's Folk Life Heritage Award. Going to raise the broom up, I mean the blade, bring in the broom. Awarded among artists like B.B. King and Loretta Lynn, Martin says it very well could be the pinnacle of his career. Chills ran down my back. I just, it was such a surprise. But he won't take all the credit. We just make a great product that lasts our customers a long time. He says it's the love of his life and partner along the journey that deserves the real praise. Fitting for a man who still lives by the lesson he learned as a kid on his grandparents' farm. My grandparents uh, always believed in, you know, hard work and a good job, and that's still all I'm doing is doing a good job at making an old broom. You may be wondering just how many brooms Martin makes each day. He says about a dozen, and each one can last about 10 years if you take care of it. They range anywhere from $10 to $37. And if you'd like to learn more about the Hockaday family history and folk art events in West Tennessee, like the Broom Corn Festival, go to our website, WBBJTV.com, and click on Scene on 7.